Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Hydro instrument method, uh, which is used for booking and reducing the elevation of points from the observed staff readings, which comes under our leveling part. So let us continue. So there are some formulae to be remembered in order to use the method hide an instrument method so let us see how how to calculate the reduced level from the staff readings given the reduced level is equals to height of the instrument minus the foresight or it can also be calculated as height of the instrument minus the intermediate side now how to calculate the height of the instrument from the staff readings is again given as height of the instrument equals to elevation of the benchmark or which is the reduced level or whatever the staff reading it is given the benchmark plus the backside or the reduced level or the RL plus the backside now using this particular formula we are going to find the reduced level and the height of the instrument of various elevation of the points from the staff readings so let us ask a problem which we are going to solve it by using height of instrument instrument methods sorry that my some of the spelling mistakes are there the s is missing missing in this particular instrument so now let's 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 see the problem i will read out the problem try to write down the problem question and try to be with me when i'm when i'm going to solve the particular problem so the following staff readings were observed successively with a level the instrument having been moved after third sixth and eighth readings enter the readings in a page of level book and calculate the reduced levels of the points if the first reading was taken in taken with a staff held at a benchmark of 432.384 now the benchmark is given from this particular point the from this particular benchmark the first reading was taken then what else is mentioned in the particular problem is the instrument is moved after the third sixth and the eighth reading so the third sixth and the eighth reading will be the last reading before shifting the particular instrument so here are the staff readings that they have given for a particular point for the first reading it is given here second third fourth fifth six seven eight and ten altogether ten readings are given which may be taken from several stations that we will cover in the next step so the first reading will be our back side and the last reading will be obviously our foresight so whenever we are doing a staff reading from a station the first reading that they are going to take is will be the backside and the last reading from that particular station or the instrument position it will be the foresight so in the problem it is mentioned that after the third sixth and the eighth reading the instrument is moved so third reading here will be our foresight one here then for sixth reading here again will be a foresight and the eighth reading here again will be a foresight since it is the last reading that they are going to take before moving the the instrument so the first reading will be our back side then in between the foresight that is third will be i mentioned that the third will be our foresight in between the third the foresight and the back side all other readings will be our intermediate side so the first reading is back side 
the third reading will be our foresight so the second reading will be obviously intermediate side so third is fourth side then fourth again fourth back side because immediately after shifting the instrument after the third reading the first reading that they are going to take it will be the back side so after third the fourth reading will be the first reading after setting up the instrument after setting in, setting up, up of the instrument then again the sixth reading is the last reading before shifting the instrument then after after shifting the instrument the first reading that they are going to take is the foresight back side then again eighth reading will be our foresight since it is the last reading before moving the the uh, before moving the uh, the instrument and again after moving the instrument the the next reading or the the next reading will be the first reading so it will be the back side then again last reading will be our foresight so i think it is clear to your mind that the last reading from an instrument station before moving the instrument the last reading taken will be our foresight and the next and the first reading after moving the instrument that we are going to mention is the back side so this is a typical way of representing your staff reading and the height of the instrument and reduced level this is a piece of the field book so how we are here we are going to write down all the staff reading and correspondingly we are going to find out what is the height of the instrument and the reduced level so at first the first reading will be our back side and the second reading will be our intermediate side then in the question it is mentioned that after third third reading or third staff reading the instrument is being shifted so the third reading will be our foresight then the fourth reading which is taken immediately after the shift of the instrument or the first reading after shifting of the instrument so it will be our back side then next will be the fifth side will be our intermediate side that is 2.864 then uh, afterwards again it was mentioned that after the sixth reading the instrument was shifted so the last reading which was taken before shifting of the instrument will be our foresight that is 1.262 will be our foresight after that the next reading taken was backside that is 0 0.06602 then the next reading is again uh, foresight that is 1.982 after that the next reading will be our backside then the last reading will be our foresight so in the next step we are going to find out the reduced level and the height of the instrument so in the question uh, it was given as the first reading was taken from a benchmark of from a benchmark of 432.384 so the value of the height of the instrument will be the reduced level that is the benchmark 432.384 minus plus the backside that is 2.228 will give us the value of the height of the instrument that is 434.612 so we got the height of the instrument for station 1 so if we go to station 2 we will find out the reduce level for station 2 or finding out the reduce level for station 2 we will subtract the height of the instrument value from the height of the instrument value we will subtract the intermediate side that is 1.606 now the height of the instrument value that is 434.612 minus 1.606 will give us the value of 433.006 we got the reduced level in station 2 then we will find out the 
reduce level for next station that is height of the instrument 434.612 minus the foresight value that is 0 0.988 which will give us a value of 433.624 so we got the value of the reduced level then we will find the height of the instrument how we will find the height of the instrument is simply deduct the uh, add the back side to the reduced level the reduced level value is 433.624 plus the back side value that is 2.090 will give us the height of the instrument value that is 435.714 so we move on to the next station in the next station the reduced level value will be height of the instrument that is 435.714 minus the intermediate side that is 2.864 will give us the value of the reduced level that is 432.85 so the value of the reduced level is equals to 432.85 after that we will move on to the next station for finding out the reduced level we will subtract the height of the instrument value with the intermediate side or the foresight so now for finding out the reduced level 435.714 height of the instrument minus the foresight that is 1.262 will give us the value of 434.452 so now we got the reduced level what will be our height of the instrument new height of the instrument new height of the instrument will be 434.452 plus the back side that is 0 0.602 will give us the value of 435.054 which is our new height of the instrument now we move on to the next station 6 the reduced level here will be height of the instrument that is 435.054 minus the foresight that is 1.982 will give us a value of the reduced level which is equals to 433.072 now we have the reduced level then we will find out the new height of the instrument the new height of the instrument will be equals to reduced level plus back side that is 433.072 plus 1.044 will give us the value of the new height of the instrument equals to 434.116 now we got the new height of the instrument value so we move on to the next station that is station 7 in station 7 the reduced level value will be the height of the instrument plus no, minus the height of the instrument minus foresight height of the instrument 434.116 minus the foresight will be 2.684 that is 431.432 now we have calculated all the reduced levels now let us see what is the summation of backside the summation of the backside comes up to be 5.964 and the summation of the foresight will come up to be 6.916 now we will see the use of this in the next step before closing this particular page we will see what are the turning points in the turning point is a point where we measure both the foresight and the backside so in this case station 3 station 5 and station 6 will be our turning points why it, why is it called turning point is that we measure both the we observe both the foresight and the backside so in turning point one, one will be station 3 in station 3 there will be one turning point then again next turning point will be in station 5 and again the next turning point will be station 6 let's move on to the next step 
the next step will be for checking of the whole process or whether our reduced level values are correct or not this is the arithmetic check in which we find out the value of the reduced levels are correct or not how do we find out is summation of the foresight minus summation of the backside should be equals to the difference between the first RL and the last RL the difference between the summation of the foresight and backside is 6.916 minus 5.964 which is from the table it comes up to be 0 0.952 then the next step first RL minus last RL is 432.384 minus 431.432 which comes up to be 0 0.952 this is from the table now since both the values are equal we will say that the calculation of the reduced level is correct hence okay thank you everyone we will meet in the next video thank you